Okay, welcome back. It's been a while since we've done one of these videos. Uh, so today let's talk about how to type integrals in Microsoft Word. So normally you have to go to insert um, and click equation. And then now you have all these options and you'll go to the integral tab and you'll find one of these options. For example, a standard indefinite integral, a definite integral uh, with limits, um, one of these circular ones. Uh, for example, you'll click this and then you'll have to click inside, type your function. Uh, dx, usually I like to put a space here, and then click on the, all these boxes to finish your integral. So that's a lot of work. There's more efficient ways to use your keyboard shortcuts. For example, you can use option equals to bring up the equ equation environment, or as I set up my custom shortcut, which is command equal equal. And all you have to do is type slash int, and that gives you the integral. Um, now that just gives you the integral symbol, so hit space one more time, that will uh, create um, a function, so a function box, where you can type in your functions like that. Um, uh, for if you want a finite integral, sorry, a definite integral, that is, then you can, before you type space, before you compile this int, you can do underscore a uh, um, and uh, caret b, then you can have the limits immediately typed over there, and you can create your function like this. So if you want to combine it with more, uh, a lot of the standard integrals where it goes from minus infinity to infinity, uh, uh, let's go from zero to infinity. Then you can start from zero. And infinity is the same as the latex uh, code. And you can do that. So you can also do a minus infinity to infinity, so very similarly. Oops, int. And uh, no, technically, you can just go with minus infinity to infinity slash infinity like that. So that would technically work. Uh, but however, um, whenever I have an extra operator in front, like a minus sign, this uh, sometimes things don't compile perfectly. Bec for example, um, if you do, uh, if I have a minus b, it's un unusual to have a minus b as a lower limit. But something like this would happen because it would treat the minus sign as a um, as a delimiter to to separate out the commands and it compiles it, uh, the things before it uh, first. So to be safe, just put a bracket around it. For example, a minus b like that. That would that would work nicely here. And I, I like to do the same thing for for infinity, uh, for negative infinity, like that, just in case uh, it doesn't compile right. So it's just more uniform for my stuff like that. Uh, you can also follow it up with the actual integral. So um, the integrated function over here, let's call it capital FX. And you can put in the lower limits and upper limits like that. So you notice a lot of times the functions over here doesn't look really nice because it's all uh, cramped in together. So what I like to do is actually put a uh, space b uh, um, before and after it. Um, it just looks a little bit better. And the quickest quickest way to do that, give myself one more space. The quickest way to do that is when when you type this um, after you compile it, use back arrow, go back in. I type two space uh, before I type in my function like that. Now, other than standard integrals, you can also do um, double integrals. And all you have to do is do i int, and that'll give you a double integral. And you can do double integrals with limits. So you can type that. And uh, for example, have some sort of surface integral uh, happening over here. Okay, so that works as uh, Gauss's law. And you can do a uh, triple integral, very similarly, um, where you have uh, double i int, so you have three i's in essentially. Um, you can put a limit, a lower limit of, let's say, a certain volume, and um, you can, uh, let's do the divergence theorem. Now you can also do line integrals or contour integrals um, by putting O int. So that would actually give you this little um, circle around it. And you can put in a certain contour, for example, uh, and have, a, have an integral like that. Um, you can also do a, a closed integral with uh, double integrals, uh, which is probably what I should have done in the divergence theorem. So that's this. And similarly, uh, for triple integral, just put an O in front of whatever the integral you are working with over there. And a very final thing, although I don't use this as much, is a clockwise orientation in your line integral. So you can even have contours like this. 
So hopefully you see this is a much more efficient way to type equations. You, it saves you first a lot of clicks from first going to the equations interface, and then um, going through all these options and filling in them one by one. So before we go, there are actually a few cool bonus tips if you're using a Mac, um, and that's using the Option key. So when you hold the Option key, your keyboard transforms into a lot of Unicode symbols. So for example, if you hold Option B, that will actually give you this little integral sign. Now this actually is just a standard Unicode symbol, and it's an inline uh, symbol. So it's not actually in the equation environment, but you can do the same thing inside the equation environment. So hold Option B, and uh, it behaves exactly like um, when you type slash int, like that. Usually, I just go ahead to type slash ins like that. But if uh, if this interests you, um, this could work as well. And two more quick ones that I've mentioned in previous videos before, but it's re uh, related to integrals here, so I'll bring it up again, is infinity. Uh, that's option 5 and uh, option D for the partial derivative symbol. So you could do option B for your integral, do negative, and then option 5 for infinity, like that. So all this would work. So thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully this has been useful for you, and uh, hopefully this helps you with typing integrals much quicker. I'm hoping in the future I can go through maybe all of these options one by one, how to type all these without um, going to your mouse or to your trackpad. So we already talked about how to do matrices in the previous video by pure typing. So maybe we can go through all these options one by one, and uh, if there's a particular one that you want to see discussed, feel free to put that in the comment and let me know. And if you have found this helpful, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all those would really help the channel, and you'll get notified for the next videos that I put up. So thanks again for watching, and see you in the next video.